It is time to take a look at what's trending on the web this morning. So Tennessee College senior, she is sticking to her guns. Not these ones. No, her gun is Not sticking to her, ones. though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another gun. After posting this graduation photo exposing her handgun at her waist while rocking this Women for Trump t-shirt, she's getting some backlash online. She posted the picture with the caption, I don't take normal college graduation photos. Well, then, of course, she knew she was going to get some backlash. Yeah. You know, whether you had the gun in the photo or the Women for Trump picture, I'm just, I love the bridge behind it. Isn't that lovely bridge? That's a, yeah, it's a cool, yeah. and it's in portrait mode. Yeah, yeah, very pretty on picture. On her iPhone. Okay. Uh, but she's facing backlash. Someone even reported her to the police department there. Why? Uh, saying that, you know, she's dangerous and <laughs> showing okay. off her gun. Yeah, it got pretty heated on uh, on Twitter. But, well, you know. Well, listen, I'm a big proponent of concealed carry, and the whole point of it is it's concealed. You, no one knows. It's only there, only there at the one infinitesimal hope that you need it in emergency. So, you know, again, if you're showing a concealed weapon, it's no longer concealed. She um, she made it clear that she carries when, you know, she knows the laws in Tennessee. She okay. obviously has her license to carry, so she's following, she's following all the well, laws. Well, and this was a point to show this off. Obviously, you're taking yeah. your graduation photos. That's one she felt like taking. I'm sure there were many different styles. That's the one she chose to post. That's the one, yeah. She's making a statement. You're being yeah. political when you do that. We know that. Yeah. Right. You know who's not being political? The Oof. Royals. No politicians will be at the really? royal wedding. Yep. Okay. Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, they have decided to keep their wedding guest list pretty short. Um, going against tradition, really. I mean, Theresa May is not even going to be there. All right. The prime minister there. Um, uh, that surprises me. The prime minister. I mean, if you were picking other countries and saying which representatives should come, which shouldn't, who's friends with us, who, you know, who's allies, who's not, then you get into that, like you said. Yeah. Then you get into that political, you know, now we're picking teams and, you know, who gets their feelings hurt. But mm -hmm. I'm surprised the, the leader of the country is yeah, not going to be there. Yeah, their country uh, is not going to be there. Neither is President Donald Trump and yeah, well, the Obamas. Yeah, well, he's got a country to run over here. The Obamas aren't going to be there either, despite the friendship between Prince Harry and Barack Obama. Okay, well, they made the choice. So, so it would be friends, family, and yep. uh, 100 and a billion people all around 1, TV watching. <laughs> and they invited 1,200 uh, citizens of okay. the UK to attend as well. Like a little lucky lottery thing? The question is, will the Beckhams be there? <laughs> they were at Keaton and Wick. You know Williams. the Beckhams are going to be there and you know why. they have to be there. Because the Spice, the Spice Girls, Girls are performing. Are yeah, so that's what's trending on the web this morning. Quick time out when we come back, we'll check in with.